Okay, let me test that. Oh, that might be too loud. I'll turn it down just a teeny weeny bit. The mic did not unmute at first, but I think we're good now. All right, I think I'm comfortable where I am here as we are comfortable in winter semis between Varus, Lady Kong, and Travis, the seventh Roy. Travis for short, of course. With the purple boy! I like the purple black Roy. It's you know, actually it's pretty cool. Alright, I get some water in there. There we go. Alright. Let's commentate the sick match. Both these two close to kill percent, or actually, yeah, in kill percent, I believe. Yeah. One good, uh. One good opening for either of these two will end in death. So. Both these two will be looking for it as Varus sends Roy off stage looking for the air dodge. Reed does not get it as Travis makes it back. These aerials are making it very hard for Roy to keep in control at this percent. The knockback looking good. The chase down! Alright, that's the first stock going to Varus right there. Great wall away read right there. Okay. Travis holding his own right there. A lot of jab pressure there. Or just jab in general. Trying to bank on Diddy Kong approaching into that eventually. Good grab right there too. Okay, Diddy Kong pressure. Not gonna get too much going there. Almost gets the roar right there. These Blazers actually can travel so far this tournament. I think they'd be decently placed. He doesn't like this option otherwise though. Almost gets that out of the power shield. Not going to get it. Okay, good pressure right there. I'll save on shield with that down tilt. But Diddy Kong is going to keep his patrol going. He's looking pretty happy right now, honestly. Roy looking close to death here at 89%. Varus covers the low recovery. That's going to do it. Very nice play right there with that trade. As Varus quotes, I have Roy experience. And that Roy experience definitely paid off for game one right there. Very strong start opening for him. We are going to Dreamland as Travis switches characters to Fox the Cloud. Let's see if this stage and character picks swings things back to his favor a little bit. A little bit more aggressive pressure. It's gonna make things a little harder with his movement. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if this Fox play does rewards him the way that he would want to right there. All right, catches the landing out of that dash attack right there. Simple grab, throw right there. Simple stuff doesn't want to overcommit too much. So I feel like if Travis overcommits and gets a lot off of his commitment, it's going to make uh, Garz play more of his game for sure. Or it might. It really depends here. So far, Varus is uh, the one rewarded off his game plan the most right now on this set. Because he's getting the right openings with a 45% lead now. And he keeps it going, catching Fox's landing with the dare. Not really a safe uh, landing tool if you're nowhere near your opponent, really. As it does uh, have a bit of a... Well, it has its own leg, and it's also a very small hurt hitbox to throw out. So, it just leaves a big lingering hurtbox on the way. Either way. Z-Drop Banana! That was clean placement! Well covered right there. Varus now puts Travis on his final sock of this second game, potentially his last now. If he keeps the stuff going, that side B is not going to do him too much favors there. Varus with a back air of shield there. Alright, comfortable from any position of the stage right now. As Travis has, has to find an answer to Varus' game plan. Really figure this, out, figure this back out. Okay, up tilt, up air, not quite a connector there, but very, very close for Travis. Alright, safe, low, safe uh, on his commitment there. Does not get the punish right there as uh, Varus is able to jump away on the top platform though. Something silly could happen here. I think an up throw can kill from there. Um, not this percent, no. Um, I've never seen Fox up throw kill on the top platform ever. But uh, Travis definitely wanted to right there, that's for sure. And I wouldn't blame him there. Situation is looking very heavily in uh, Diddy Kong's favor now. Quite good for him, honestly. Okay, a four right there. Huge range to co to cover his to get his get up pack to get back onto land. The banana doing its job for a little bit, covering 
some space right there with that flip. These tools looking very helpful there. Indeedy. Alright. I was re-grabbing that banana after I hit the shield as it no longer has a hitbox there. Very smart um, understanding right there. The Firefox on stage just barely crosses up Diddy Kong right there. Good favor right there. This is his opening right there. That could have been the opening he needed too as that backer knocks him off stage at 126%. He's able to snap the ledge with the Fox Illusion. The fourth throw is not going to do it, however. The Shine Stall Recovery. Very tricky angle to make, honestly. And that's how it goes. Mars will take the 2-0 victory over Travis's Roy and Fox right there. And that is how this will play out as Vars will be moving on to the winner's finals to fight the winner of Dandelion. And, um, I don't know. Um, Dan and Dante, I believe. Okay, we'll see you there.